thank you for coming. Uh, this is uh, this is basically the, the culmination of, of six years of work. Uh, Adaptiva as a, as a company, uh, we decided to make a new processor architecture in 2008, and uh, parallel processor architecture because we realized that is the future. Uh, the market's been a little bit slow to adopt, but um, I'm happy to announce today that uh, since 2008, we built uh, four generations of chips. Uh, two generation of boards, and uh, today we're launching our first system, uh, something we call uh, A1, uh, first generation. Uh, and uh, it's a quite a small system, but yay high, and uh, consumes 200 watts, and has over 2,000 RISC CPU cores. And so just to put that into perspective, right, if you look at a 2,000 CPU uh, system around here, we usually take up something that is on the order of this whole queue, uh, exhibit booth. And here we're putting it in, in, in a box that's basically uh, 6 by 6 by 58 centimeters. And so, uh, so this is going to be the first time officially that we turn this on. The first time it was ever turned on was 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, and so now we're going to flip the switch the second time. Hopefully it won't, uh, won't, blow, won't blow up. Uh, so, uh, so this is a, this is a complete cluster system. Um, it's obviously a prototype, the way it's set up right now. But uh, what we have right up here on top is uh, 32 individual uh, computer nodes, each one the size of a credit card. And uh, each computer node has 66 RISC CPU cores. Uh, so that's fairly dense. <laughs> and we achieve with this system uh, 15 gigaflops per watt, even though basically this is a toy system, right? We would never build a real system, production system like this. And yet, with this toy system, we've achieved something that nobody else in the world has done until today. So, before I flip the switch, any questions? How many uh, chips do we have on uh, We have how many chips or cores? Uh, cores 66. Chips. Hmm? Chips. Two chips. So, we have a two chip solution. One is a dual core ARM chip that runs the operating system, and the other one is a 64-core uh, accelerated chip uh, from Adaptiva, uh, also RISC cores, and together we have 66 cores. So it doesn't blow up. So of course with 200 watts, this is our power solution, right? You plug into the wall and you're up and running. And, you know, just keep that in mind when you look at some of the bigger systems around here. So, uh, so the beautiful thing is, once you bring down the power, power delivery is trivial. Uh, cooling, still a challenge because it's such a dense system. So getting 200 watts out of this is still a challenge, uh, which is why we built up the demo with lots of copper. And uh, this basically, this whole thing becomes a whole heat sink. Uh, the next step is to put water cooling off the top of this to draw out the heat. Because uh, if you give this another half hour, it does get hot. Uh, not hard enough to not damage the chips, but, uh, but definitely you want to run these things as cool as possible. So, there you have it. World's smallest supercomputer. <laughs>